Okay, so here we are. We're looking at chapter three, uh, sorry, chapter five's <laughs> exercises. Um, all these use the information that we learned in chapter five, which is all about defining our own functions and then using them in programs. So exercise one here says to use the draw square function that uh, they provided in the chapter uh, to draw the image shown below this image here of these five squares. Assume each side is 20 units long. Uh, then we can see that uh, they say that we should notice that the turtle has always moved away, already moved away from the ending point of the last square when the program ends, which tells us uh, kind of what the end of our for loop needs to look like. The end of our for loop is going to end with the turtle moving away from the end of the square. So let's run the program that they've provided for us here already and see what our output looks like. So you can see our output down here is just the turtle turning and making a square. Here, let me see if I can make this a little bit larger. There we go. So again, this turtle just turning, making a square on the left. And that makes sense because we know that the square function, as we wrote earlier in the chapter and wrote in the last chapter, is just this for loop, which tells the turtle to go forward four times turning to the left each time through the loop. So it's going to create this down here. Now, let's go through the program that we have here. We're importing turtle in the top here, which we have to do because that's the module we're using. And then here we have our first function definition. So remember that when we're defining functions, we do def for define, and then the name of the function, and then in parentheses, any arguments or parameters that we want the function to take. In this case, we're taking an argument t and an argument sz. And if we look at the doc string below here, it says get turtle t to draw square with sz size. So that's what we're going to do. So we know that t should be a turtle and sz should be a size. So the draw square function just takes those things and uses them in the function down here, t for turtle, sc for size. Okay, so what we need to do is then take that function and inside of the main function, use it to create these five squares. So let's look what our main function looks like. We're defining the screen for the turtle. We're saying to light green. We're defining our turtle, uh, his name is Alex. And we're setting Alex to pink. And we're calling draw square with Alex. Okay, so we know that we want to just straight away, what we want to do is draw five squares, right? So we know instantly that we're going to want a for loop. So for i in range five, for five squares, uh, we want to have Alex draw a square. So I'll just indent this here. So draw square Alex 20. I'm going to put a space here uh, for stylistic reasons. Uh, I like to keep my parameters separated by space. I just think it makes the code more readable. So if we do this now, if you run it, all Alex is going to do is just draw four, five squares here all on top of each other. So we don't want that. That's not what we want. Uh, so what does Alex need to do every time he's drawn a square? Well, he needs to move forward. Well, how far does he need to move forward? Well, he needs to move forward 20 to get to the end of the square here, the bottom right corner. And then let's move forward an additional 20 to get to a new space to draw a new square. So with Alex here, after he has drawn a square, I want him to go forward 20. And let's just run that and see what that gives us. So now he's going forward 20 and drawing immediately another square, which almost matches what we want up here, but not quite. So if I have him go forward 40 to create that gap in between, this is what happens. So he goes forward the additional 20 that we want to leave a gap for, but he is still drawing, which means we need to have him pick his pin up. So instead of going forward 40, I'll go forward 20 I'll have Alex lift his pin, and I'll go forward an additional 20, and then have him put the pin back down. So there we go. Now, if we run this, we get one square, two squares, three squares, four squares, 
five scores. Now you could refactor this uh, for loop that we've written here in order to take an argument of a turtle and an argument of how many squares you want to be drawn and you could actually turn it into a generalized function called something like uh, draw multiple squares right and then you would want to take a turtle as an argument and then we could say uh, x for how many squares we want to be drawn so you could absolutely do this get turtle t to draw uh, x squares so think about that uh, if you want to try to extend this challenge to make it a little bit difficult uh, your function would probably also want to take in a size variable for how large you want the square to be so uh, if you want to challenge yourself try to refactor that so that you can call draw multiple squares to just have uh, Alex draw a bunch of squares up to as many as you want in a row. So give that a shot if you want to challenge yourself on exercise one.